Well, I like to be called Una because that's Gaelic for Winifred, which is my real name. But I'm granny to you. I'm not really sold on them, eh, on computers. The one in my head will probably see me out. And I think actually it's better than the others. This is going to be your keyboard. Oh, is it weenie? Yes, weenie is exactly the word they used to describe it on the website. I, I, I pay all my bills on the phone. The phone is actually my biggest aid. And of course there's the TV and there's the DVD and there's whatever else in the box over there. And then here's your mouse. See? Yes. See how you like that. See, oh, that try looks the, quite friendly. If you do that, mm -hmm. it's telling the computer that you want to do something. Right. And the computer will do it for you. When you hear internet, what kind of comes to your mind right now? I would say a great waste of time. Do you know anything about YouTube? I know you put me on it, <laughs> but I don't know what it is. How about Google? Google, I know nothing about. It sounds dreadful. Now all I have to do is mouse right over that picture of you. Over there. Here's right the over right. that picture of you. Over the top of it? The, the picture. Music. You'll want to go on the picture. Oh. And then just do a click. Using the, yeah, there you go. Just click that. Bam. You're on the computer, Granny. You're definitely not against the idea of computers entirely. You just kind of don't like the way they're evolving. I am afraid for the people who are using them too much. How to be a digital grandma. And if you haven't realized yet, this obviously is not on the spelling you're probably used to. No, it's not, but I can read it. Now, you had a question about this. Yes, I wondered what that weird drawing was. Well, it's you, but it's in a style commonly referred to as 8-bit. Because back when video games sort of originated, everything they made looked really blocky. So this is essentially if you were in a really old video game. It's on the Facebook page I told you about. It looks like that. And no, the... it looks better than this. I thought you'd put my picture on it. First thing to do is decide what a computer is. Exactly. Unless you have a definition you'd like to throw out there right now. <laughs> throw out being the principal words. This is getting your computer turned on. Power button is located on the back of the iMac. That's really handy. This is about the size it will actually be, so don't go looking for a huge honking circle. For better results, keep the computer plugged in. I didn't think you needed to plug a computer in. So this is your mouse. It will look like this. It's essentially got three, four pieces, which I color-coded for you. Now here's your keyboard. Any keys that you don't understand, which will probably be the top row and the sides, just ignore them. Majoritively, you'll just need the numbers and the letters. Photo booth uses the camera to take pictures of you but you can also record video, and that's how you're gonna do your video diary. A video diary. Yes, so essentially you just sit down, I'll show you how to turn it on, and then you just talk to the computer. Talk to it? You can pretend you're talking to me, or you can, you can write it like a pen pal if you want with your words. You can start off with, dear computer, today I hate you, or something. I keep a diary already, <laughs> but never mind. Try saying something to the computer. I don't take a very good picture. <laughs> okay. So, photo booth, the one that let you take pictures of yourself in video, what do you think of that one? Not much. I didn't like, f no, I wouldn't like to be taking my face picture. Sudoku, or a sudo sud I can do it quicker on paper. You, so that one's pretty much a waste of your time. Uh -huh. What about the sticky notes? Do you like that? How you're able to leave notes for yourself? That does away with memory. We're recording. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. It's too high for me now. I can't see myself properly. Why is it timing me? You apparently have a lot to tell me about what you've been doing on the computer. Well, I have tried it once or twice. Um, not with a tremendous amount of success for the simple reason that everything I put on it, I couldn't get rid of. So you'll find that it's layered. <laughs> and I managed to take some more pictures. I couldn't get any sound out of it. And oddly enough, I got an email for you. I don't think it was an email per se because you're not hooked up to the internet and that's how you get emails. Um, anything else I did? 
Well, I didn't break it as far as I know. I was really quite pleased with the idea that I could write with it. And I added a bit to, to some of the messages. How about we open up address books since you seemed interested in that one? Say you wanted to add a contact, right? Mm -hmm. They have a little plus down here you can add. Or say you knew someone named Fred. You could type in Fred and anyone with the name Fred would pop up there Fred's for you. Fred's dead. Oh, well we won't add him to the list then. So you, you think this might help you out in everyday life or do you think you'd still prefer the by hand method? I might be quite interested in, in uh, making a, a list of uh, names, addresses and telephone numbers. Mm -hmm. If that's legal. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, it's back to grey anyway, so it should, we can still see ourselves moving, but it shouldn't be talking anymore to us. Now, what was the... There's no colour in this now, but I suppose it will... Oh, there they go, you see? Now, I... Got them all on, grand pianos and music and track. But there's no light, no red on that. Now, to make it bigger, the grand piano, we could always play it now. See what happens. <laughs> should start and get to the, the, the heart music now. I've got it all down pat, I know what it's going to do, but I can't make you do anything else. We should record ourselves singing All right, Granny, so you ready to try the flashcards on digital lingo here? Oh, we'll try, yes. Here's the first one, LOL. Well, that one I know, laugh out loud. Now, where did you learn that one? When I was doing crosswords. BRB? Bring, bring Robert back. I don't know, WTF. Any idea what the F would stand for in that? Several words I can think of. So what we're gonna do, Granny, is I'm gonna get you to uh, pick out one of your favorite CDs, whether it's your choir singing or just music you enjoy. Just have to mm -hmm. slip it a little bit inside. Now let's huh? hang on a second while it tries to discover what it's doing. You mean it has to think about it? Go up and hit the little play button right up there. So there's your song, right? Mm-hmm. When's the drum solo? Don't think there is one. I hate to cut him off, you know, in the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll be too worried about it. So sad. Amazing the way I got the music on the, the video of Grandpa's carvings, yeah. that's what I did was I used this program to get it off of your CD, and then I put it on top of the pictures. Yeah, I thought that was very clever. Mm -hmm. I, I hoped you'd like it. Um, This experience has made me think a lot more about them. It's a novelty to me, but I would think that as you got better at it, you could spend far too much time working with it. Anyway, I'm glad that you came. I'm glad that you brought your computer. I'm glad that you've taken the film. And now would you like one of these miserable looking brownies that are sitting here in the sun?